and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to make soap. To be exact, I'm going to make a face tightener. I already started the process to certain extent, so I decided to share this method and the process in how I go about like making the soap with you guys. So let's get right into the video. So here in this bowl, I have first I measured out my oils, which is coconut oil, castor oil, and olive oil. I then take the aloe plant and take out the gel and blend the gel together with my oil. So that's why it is this color. I then, this is my Lyle water. Lyle is a crystal. I'm going to show you guys. Lyle is a white crystal, like this. Wish I could look closer. I don't know if you're seeing it properly. Okay. So this is my Lyle water. I already when make dealing with Lyle, you got to pour the Lyle into the water and not the water into the Lyle. So right now my Lyle is very hot. My Lyle water, so it's in the cooling process. So I'm going to continue the steps on how I go about making this soap. For this soap, we are going to use turmeric powder, cornstarch, rose leaf, rose leaf, and bentonite clay. We are also going to need a mold to put this soap in after it's finished. So, yes, this is my aloe gel. This is this gel is from fresh the fresh plant that I've picked and I just blend my gel together. It's a natural plant. Next, I'm going to add my bentonite clay to my batter. You can't make soap without taking measurement of the oils. You have to take measurement for everything according to. But for these ingredients, I'm going to use one and a half of this spoon because I'm accustomed to making this soap so one and like that. so I'm now gonna blend my bentonite in my bottle next I'm going to pour my turmeric powder in my butter each of these ingredients that I'm using has is very beneficial to the skin. I'm now going to blend my turmeric in now. Next, I'm going to put in my rosemary leaves. I'm going to pour like a spoon of the rosemary leaf. Well, I don't say spoon because I usually use this to make each of this facial. I usually use like the same amount, so I don't really take measurement for this. So I'm now going to blend my rosemary leaves in my butter now. Now I'm going to pour in my cornstarch. I usually put two of the cornstarch. Then I'm going to blend it in together now. So this is my butter after I've all added all of my dry ingredients together. When making soap, always put on protective glove and something to shield your eye. But right now, I don't have any glove at the time. In. So, and this is the same soap that I've made already. This is one, the facial tightener. This is an order. So, it's in the current process. Then I'll just pluck it out and slice it. So, this is one of the soap that I'm making already here. Now I'm going to pour in my Lyle water. When pouring in this, you have to pour it in very slowly because if Lyle splash on you this Lyle water, 
it can be harmful to your skin so i'm going to blend this together until it comes to taste So this when your soap finish and you put you will know by when you put in like the blender on top of the soap and you see in the mat that is when you know your soap is already almost ready to pour in your mold. I'm going to add the fragrance that I'm going to use in the soap. It's going to be lavender oil. Four cent. And I'm going to blend together. Before pouring my soap, I usually spray my molds with rubbing alcohol and then I pour my soap out. So this is my soap paste tightener that I've already poured. I'm going to leave this soap for 24 hours before it look like this. This one is already is ready to cut. So I'm going to cut it later on in the day. This is an order. This have a eucalyptus oil for scent, which is beneficial to the skin. And then after 24 hours, you slice the soaps and then you leave it for six weeks to cure before you can use it. So thank you guys so much for watching my so video and see you guys on my next video bye Mwah.